guys, you know, it's me, it's me, it's the real IFP. And today we're doing something completely different than usual. Because today we're doing real talk. <laughs> a new, a new wrestling podcast talk show thing where we discuss rumors, uh, news, discussion on on social media we have everything here so yeah let's start off first with the royal rumble you know it's one of my favorite events of the year the royal rumble 2018 is coming and you know there are a lot of rumors about who's gonna win and who's coming to return again and blah 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 blah. so first rumor we have is that john cena is about to win the royal rumble 2018 no joke a lot of sites, a lot of sources say John Cena is about to win the 2018 Royal Rumble. And in my opinion, I don't know. It isn't my top uh, cup of tea, to be honest. You know, John Cena winning the Royal Rumble again and again and then again headlining WrestleMania. And you know, I'm not really a big fan of that. You know, you have other guys like Finn Balor. What? Seth Rollins. What? Samoa Joe. What? Shinsuke Nakamura. What? But no, John Cena is about to headline WrestleMania one more time and to win the Royal Rumble match. And in my opinion, it, 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 isn't, it isn't my thing. Another uh, speculation on who's, retur- who's returning to WWE is Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio is about to return to the WWE. Well, that, that the rumors say that he's going to return to the WWE. And in my opinion, you know, Rey Mysterio, I, I like the guy and I really hope they will give him one more run, you know. He announced it on social media that he is really, uh, he really feels like returning to the WWE. And he really wants to return to the WWE for one last run. But they have to treat him properly and not like some stupid uh, last entry at the Royal Rumble. And then let him knock out by Roman Reigns or something. We don't want that. We don't. We want Rey Mysterio. Maybe in the Cruiserweight division, he will do great. I think he will do great in the Cruiserweight division. You know, just go away with Enzo Amore and and those guys. You know, so maybe we will see another another wrestler who's about who has announced or like teased that he wants to return or is going to return. We ne- we will never know. Is Wade Barrett. He announced on Instagram, he, sh- he, he I don't know, it was like a weird picture on Instagram that he was swimming in the ocean and then he like said, don't mind the apps, they're coming ba- just back in time for the Royal Rumble. He said it on social media, you can check it out. I hope he's coming back. I really do like Wade Barrett. He's one of the, one of, he was one of my favorites. And now I hope they will give him that world title shot he needs, he desperately needs. So that's it. I hope that I hope that will happen, you know? So the Royal Rumble, Barrett, Rey Mysterio, maybe they will come back. John Cena is about to win it. And you hear my thoughts, you know, we're we're gonna see it in the couple in the next couple weeks. So in like two to three weeks there's a special episode of Monday Night Raw, you know, the the Raw 25 year edition or something it's like gonna be a big show with two venues the manhattan center and the brooklyn the barclays center in brooklyn new york there there are gonna be some big things happening in that building and you know one of them is undertaker will return but for what what will undertaker's role be and a lot of people say he's coming back for wrestling he's coming back to wrestle match there and i don't know if he is really coming back for a match but Rumors are saying that Undertaker will be having one last match at WrestleMania. And to complete the rumor, they're saying that he is going to face Cena for the title. I'm not a big fan of that. Just let the title to the other guys make Nakamura styles for the title and put then Taker and Cena one on one in the main event of WrestleMania. That's it. They don't need the title, they're bigger than the title. Those guys are bigger than the title. And I think when you let do those two headline WrestleMania without a title, it will be it will sell out any minute. They don't need the title. So we will see Undertaker return. Triple H is gonna do something big. 
you know, I'm looking forward to this roll 25 episodes, uh, 25 year edition. So now we're moving on. So you know, my, my predictions, my, my future thoughts, what, what, what do I want to see in WWE? Because the level of WWE is slightly going down, going down, going down. And mostly after the Rumble, it's going up again. You know, the Rumble is like a, 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 a thing where, uh, an event where the views and the, the ratings and all go up again. But now it's slightly just changed because the storylines are boring and the same. Uh, what I would love to see some changes around, you know, because Chad Gable and uh, Benjamin are facing the Usos once again. Uh, Joe and Reigns going again. Uh, Beller, now Beller um, formed with uh, Gallows and Anderson. The club is back. I don't know what their, what their idea, what their plan is set for for those three. They're, they seem like they, they, have no, they have no plans for them and it's really sad, you know, that they They're three big superstars from Japan and now in WWE they don't have any plans for them So I hope they will do something big, you know, I don't know what But make do something big with them. I want to see them grow and I want to see Samoa Joe win the title I really want to see him hold a big WWE title. So now we're moving on to the fan, the community questions. You can now just comment something down below and just ask anything. Just put a prediction down below what you think is gonna happen. So, you know, put it down below and just try it. You know, we, and I will bring them into the show. So the first question, it's in Dutch, but I'm gonna try to read it in English. What do you expect from the Royal Rumble? And is there a big surprise entry uh, from Gerard Budeberg? Well, thank you for the question. Uh, the, I do think that there will be a couple of surprises in the Royal Rumble, to be honest. I really think there will be big surprises, like Wade Barrett and, and Rey Mysterio are two guys who would really surprise me, but I would really love to see back. Um, I, I, I hope that this Royal Rumble will be better bigger better than last year and the year before because last year and the year before it was trash so i hope they will do it right this time i hope i expect big things but i'm slightly a bit scared for the the usual way of things you know roman reigns at the last uh, entry and then just eliminating everyone so I, I don't want that then we have a question from jack smith shout out to him are we gonna see kenny omega in the Royal Rumble and uh, who are the 30 women in the Ro women's Royal Rumble yeah that's that, that that's a big one the 30 women Royal Rumble match I think they will do a couple of older women back like Kelly Kelly uh, maybe Caitlyn Lita I think Lita and Trish will be back and a, a couple of NXT women so is Nikki Cross the, the iconic duo and those women so I think they will be a lot of people coming back uh, from the old times and some new generation combined with the old ones. I made a prediction on my channel, the Women's Royal Rumble match, it's on my channel, you can check it out there. I will link it down in the description if you want that. In the next Real Talk, I will just uh, discuss this more. It's a, big, it's a big thing happening, the Women's Royal Rumble. I will do that. Oh, and the question was, do we see Taker back at WrestleMania? I do think so. I really don't want it because I, I respect Undertaker and you know at some point you just need to stop and it's been too much for him but we never know I, I think they will do it Finn's loves Taker and Taker loves Finn so I think they will do one more match and are we gonna see Kenny Omega uh, you know to be honest I think this is a difficult one because Kenny Omega is in Japan and his contract is very strong with Japan right now so Maybe a one-time appearance because Jericho is in Japan as well. Maybe a one-time appearance, a one-off. He won't do a, 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 a year-long deal. Maybe a one-off. That's what I think. Then, one more question from Gerard again. Uh, are, have you been to WrestleMania and how did you describe your experience? Well, I've been to WrestleMania 33. It's on my channel, the WrestleMania Vlog Week. You can check it out. Um, yeah, I've been to WrestleMania and to be honest, it's it's great. It's the best experience. As a, as a WWE fan, 
it's the best experience you can have so if you have the money if you have the time the money that just go for it do it do it once you have to you have to do it once in your life it's worth the money it's worth the the the, the time the, the the planning it's worth it all just do it and then the last question we have are we gonna see styles vs nakamura this year uh, on wrestlemania from jacob peter fisher i i don't know it it depends if cena wins the rumble I, I i can see them put cena and styles one more time i don't i hope they won't do that so i hope they will put in a wrestlemania this year because those two guys they, it's they they only can do that at wrestlemania styles nakamura there's one place one time wrestlemania nothing else so that's it ladies and gentlemen the yo guys it's me it's me it's the real fp and thank you for watching for the first episode of real talk it was quite the episode it was the first so there were a couple of mistakes couple of bumps so i'm now in the editing process of the video and you know i saw some things i didn't say or didn't record or like it, it didn't happen in the episode and you know i'm a guy i want to do everything perfect for you guys because you guys deserve it so let's just answer a couple more questions david gerza in the mania club you should follow them just like the if you're dutch wwe fan just join the wwe community nl a great group and the question is how about the new mixed tag tournament you know to be honest i'm not really sure about it i don't know what it is it's like a facebook thing so i hope that they can pull this off because you know everybody got their problems with facebook and you know to do a show on facebook i think it's a bit risky but if they can pull it off i think it will be spectacular with, with the new pairing just announced, uh, Braun Strowman, Alexa, and uh, yeah, I think they can pull it off, but it's gonna be a tough one. Another question is, how do you celebrate Rusev Day from Jimmy the Blitz? Well, thank you, Jimmy, for your question. I do celebrate Rusev Day just like any other Rusev Day, just like, just full spirit ahead, having fun, and uh, yeah, making videos for you guys. And. You know, a couple more things I want to add to the video I made. Um, Royal Rumble. I told about the match itself. And the women's match, uh, there will be a new episode of Real Talk next week. And then we will discuss the whole women's Royal Rumble, 30 women uh, Royal Rumble. But uh, on SmackDown, they announced a new match, and that's Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. I don't know about this. You know the booking between the Zayn and Owen stuff, I don't I don't really like it. To be honest, it's boring for me. I'm a big Kevin Owens fan, to be honest. And I really don't like this. And it, it, it bothers me because they could do such great things with Kevin Owens and such great things with Sami Zayn and Styles of course, but they they won't do it. So for now future YFP in the editing progress will now take it back to the real YFP in the studio down below so that's it ladies and gentlemen the first episode of real talk it's been a, a, quite a bumpy episode to be honest one thing what we're gonna do we're gonna change the things up there's gonna be a, a, a new setup sooner rather than later um, we're gonna make it look better you know it's a bit, a bit of a rushed episode and we're gonna change the quality a bit so uh, first of all i want to thank you for watching and thank you for the amazing support we we gained 800 subscribers last night so i'm very very happy for that very thankful we are uh, about to go for the 1000 subscribers so we need it we need the support we need to grow and we're gonna do it with your help so just like this video subscribe do everything you need to do because you know you have heard all the bullshit before and just yeah 
Thank you very much for watching. Check out the videos on my channel. I will link them down. Check out the social media. I will link it down. And I will see you in the next Real Talk. Next week. Mm.